Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan, and last week I did a video showing off my tick collection, all my awesome, wicked, slick tick acquisitions, and I just got some things in the mail, and thought I would go ahead and share now that we're all caught up, and you folks that are interested anyway know all about my uh, tick collection, and if you haven't seen that video, the link is in the description, feel free to check that out, but uh, right now I got three new things, and two of them are uh, kind of easy to get, uh, relatively easy easy to get things that aren't that big of a deal, and one of them is I kind of a new uh, fantastic record for me. Uh, I've never gotten screen tick stuff before, and finally, uh, I in fact, I've never bought props, uh, you, you know, used screen props uh, before in my life. I've always wanted to, and I finally have something, and it's from the new tick show, so I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, the first thing I bought is this uh, blue plastic tick spoon. This one is a little bit more heavy duty than the regular run-of-the-mill uh, white plastic spoon that obviously somebody just pulled out of a box and put a number on for the Tick Fan Club package. This came out, I think, uh, to promote the... I'm putting this right in front of it. This came, this came out, I believe, to promote the DVD sales for the uh, Patrick Warburton series when that show got canceled and then very quickly uh, went to DVD. This says uh, The Tick on DVD, August 29th, and I'm pretty sure that's that show as opposed to the uh, w one of the seasons of the uh, animated series. And uh, I had found a picture of one of these somewhere on the internet I don't even remember I was just I, I was just uh, look, looking at tick things and I found this and I was like oh I wonder if somebody's got that on eBay and somebody did so I went ahead and and picked that up uh, but the other two things are from the new tick show so I finally have my first entries into the collection from the uh, current and hopefully uh, fingers crossed it goes to series uh, Peter Serenifowitz tick series which by the way I have watched the pilot now three times and and I like I like to do uh, videos with my first impressions on some things like that. I kind of wish that I had watched that twice, or that I had I I, I don't know been a different in a different mood, or not watched it right after I got up that morning, or, or whatever. Because I had an entirely different experience with it second time around, and uh, some of my, of my reservations are still there. But man, Sarah Nifowitz is really growing on me. And I watched it with Brandon, uh, and he was crapping up. He was cra cra he was cracking up all the way through, and looked at me halfway in and said, wow, this is delightful, and I was having the same experience with it. He he was second time around. My wife really loved it, and so uh, I, I'm, I'm so stoked about the show. It's kind of a dream come true, and I just hope that it goes to series. It looks like a shoe-in. It looks like uh, it's being reviewed and reviewed very positively uh, more than the other two shows. Uh, they seem to have high scores also. Uh, I haven't watched the other two pilots, mostly because I don't want to like, like I don't know anything about them, but I don't want to uh, like or fall in love with either of those, and then feel bad if one of those doesn't go to series because I, it's just it's the tick. It's gotta it's gotta go to the series, especially because it's so good and so funny, and uh, there's so much potential. Anyway, so I got the uh, San Diego Comic Con poster. I'm pretty sure that's what this is um, for the tick show, the 11 by 17, and then the other thing I got is, uh, it's crazy that this dropped when it did. So, this was posted to eBay either the day that the pilot dropped on Amazon or the day after, and I couldn't believe I was so lucky to uh, be able to snag this up real quick. Uh, this, as I said, is the first screen-used prop I've ever bought, but the prop for me isn't nearly as cool as something else that's in here. So, I'll, I'll go ahead and show this off. Um... This was sold by an actor who played one of the thugs on the show. I got this certificate. I'll show you the certificate before I show you the stuff that's in this package. Uh, certificate of Authenticity. Uh, it says these items were all, and, and it wouldn't tell me this in the auction. You had to buy it before you could see how it was obtained. Uh, these items were all obtained directly from actor Brett Berg, who played one of the thugs in the pilot episode of The Tick. Mr. Berg sold these items in July of 2016. An unreleased personal photo of Mr. Berg on set in his goon costume has been included 
included with the certificate. So um, this this all looks uh, really above board and legit to me. Uh, if this was somehow or rather faked, it'd be a really weird thing to fake uh, and just for the sake of getting a hundred bucks. Um, and and so I uh, I'm I'm pretty sure this is all above board. Uh, so so there's the certificate of authenticity, and then uh, here's the picture of the actor in question, and this is the guy who, uh, for whatever reason, decided to part with these items and sold them immediately after um, the his scenes were shot, and um, I don't know how kosher that was. I don't know if that was if that's a thing that that, that actors are very often allowed to do. Uh, so often these days, uh, props and things don't wind up in uh, in public possession until they're cleared out of a warehouse, like officially by uh, a TV network and studio, and uh, they'll go to you know public auction and stuff. So uh, I don't know if this was something this guy was supposed to do, but uh, he sold it to somebody on eBay who uh, posted it, and I ended up buying it. So, all I know is there it was, and I've got it now. Uh, he So, included in this is a call sheet which, uh, for me, this is kind of the main reason I bought this. Uh, I've never gotten to get my hands on something like this uh, that was that was used in the production and that has a lot of information about the the day-to-day, -day, or in this case, the day uh, that scenes were shot. And this kind of thing is really interesting to me, the ins and outs of how uh, Hollywood projects are produced and the organization. And uh, it's really cool. So this, and I, I, was, I was expecting this to be a little bit bigger, uh, but uh, this is, so I don't know if this is like a copy and if it shrunk down or if this is actually what was used, uh, but this is a, like I said, a call sheet uh, that shows what time uh, this guy was supposed to be where uh, he was going for a particular scene. Uh, it's got a list of, this is for a day, so it's got a list of uh, all the actors, including Sarah Nifowitz and uh, Griffin Newman playing Arthur. Um, in, in order to uh, organize uh, scenes that were being shot that day and it's got uh, it's got mentions of uh, like what the weather is like that day and uh, like like uh, how to you know what the nearest hospital is in case somebody gets hurt uh, what the nearest subway is so that people can uh, get there and back if they don't have a car uh, it's really cool all this detailed information that they give to actors to uh, let them know where to go and and, uh, and, and what to do and, uh, and, and how to deal with different uh, possible inevitabilities. And uh, it's got things about uh, like like uh, breakfast and hair and makeup and uh, and, and uh, what the stunts are going to be and what the uh, special effects for this scene are going to be. And that's really neat. And then you get uh, 10 pages of script, uh, basically all the stuff that involves the thugs because this guy played a thug. And uh, part of the reason I bought this too is because this stuff all involves some of the funniest and best scenes in the episode. Uh, so you get the scene where uh, where Arthur is spying on the thugs and they're getting the Arthur suit that he that he gets later. Of course, uh, it looks it looks like a it looks like a bunny suit. Uh, and then you've got uh, Tick and Arthur's first meeting, and uh, this this is all uh, you know word pretty much word for word from the show. Uh, I haven't I haven't read this fully yet, but I've skimmed it, and uh, it looks like there's not a whole lot of ad libbing going on. Um, and then. You've got, uh, and then you've got the bit where uh, the tick gets, uh, uh, finally jumps down and goes up against the thugs, and uh, th he's being shot at, and he's laughing at them, and I think that's one of the more memorable bits of the show, and one of the one of the funniest parts, and one of the one of the uh, best things Sarah Nifowitz brings to the table, and then uh, prop wise. From that scene, uh, I got a couple of uh, bullet casings. Uh, so the bullets that are shot at the tick in that scene, uh, this guy walked away with a couple of the um, of the shell casings, and uh, that's really neat. So uh, I now officially have screen use props from something. And yeah, not a real, not a really big deal. You can't tell one, you know, bullet casing from another one. But uh, along with this certificate of authenticity, I can now say uh, I've got bullet shells that came from the tick. And then also, uh, and this is this is maybe even neater than that. Uh, here is a sticker that was, I believe, this this uh, symbol was on one of the boxes. And um, if you peel this back just slightly, you can see 
the blue and what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to take this off and put it anywhere, uh, but this is this is really what this looks like. And I uh, I suspect that we will see this symbol uh, uh, in more episodes. This, this struck me as a thing that was maybe setting something up, and so this might end up being really significant to this show, and we don't even know it yet. Uh, but anyway, so that's what I got. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Like I said, first uh, screen use props I've ever bought, so that's really cool. And uh, I, I certainly never thought that we would get more tick, much less that right after the... Much less that I, I would love a darker edge Tick series, and that the day after the pilot dropped, I would end up buying something that came directly from the show. So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, that's what I got. Everybody, thanks as always for watching. I uh, sure appreciate it, and I will see you again, hopefully, with more content down the line as I get more t cool tick stuff, and as again, hopefully, uh, the tick pilot gets picked up and we have more material uh, to talk about down the line. I'm also very seriously considering if I can find the time doing a uh, doing a series on the the uh, on on other tick episodes in comics and things I was thinking about doing another tick month uh, but I've gotten some requests here and there to do commentaries on at least the cartoon show if not the uh, original live action show and so uh, I might do a TikTok series down the road and um, I don't know if it'll be by myself or with somebody else because uh, I don't besides my stepdad Jeff who we have trouble coordinating our schedules uh, I don't know who else would know the show well enough uh, but I am uh, anyway I'm noodling things and uh, since Tick is suddenly more relevant than he's been in 15 years I uh, very seriously considering doing more Tick content here on the channel but anyway thanks a lot for watching sure appreciate it and I'll see you again with more videos here on Geek Pollution. thanks for watching